Hey YouTube, uh, Skrillex 642 back here again with a uh, Windows 8 beta um, look at, and actually I, I've come back this time with a little internet browser uh, overview thing. I actually had someone comment on my other video, uh, oh you should have loaded Chrome, and I thought well, I actually already did, so I thought you, I'd give you a look. It's actually exactly the same as it is in Windows 7. Uh, if you can see it here, it's not any different. Um, but one of the cool things about um, Internet Explorer is that it's actually embedded into Windows 8. With Chrome, it's not at all that way. You can see that you can run Windows, uh, I mean Chrome in, uh, you can run Chrome in your desktop application, I'm calling it. Um, but you can actually run Internet Explorer as an app by itself. Um, and I'll actually go ahead and do a little bit more of a review on Internet Explorer also, as in like the built-in app as well. Uh, just because last time when I when I did the other video I really wasn't, I didn't really know that much about it and I figured out a little bit more. Um, so I'll go ahead and give you an overview of that too. So let's go ahead and switch back to my desktop where I have Chrome. Uh, Chrome is actually exactly the same. You, I don't know, yeah, you can't pin your links to the desktop, um, but you can do all the favoriting and all that that you can normally do on your regular um, Chrome. It, it, there's really not that much to it. It's easy to use, as you probably already know. Um, so I guess let's go ahead and switch over. And I actually have tested the speed. They're both actually exactly the same. I've done benchmarks, and on my specific computer, it might be different for uh, someone else's, but on my specific computer, it ran exactly the same. Uh, so let's go ahead and look at the app version of Internet Explorer right here. Uh, so you can see we have YouTube. I have... Uh, this is really annoying because it does have a few hiccups. I'm not sold on the app right now. I'm assuming they just have to uh, get all of the updates out for it um, and get all of the stuff working. Like Flash right now, I'm pretty sure is not working. Uh, if we go here, yeah. You need to upgrade your Adobe Flash Player to watch this video. So it's basically saying that it doesn't recognize that Flash is on this computer. I've actually tried to install it multiple times. Uh, rinse, restart the computer. I've pretty much tried everything I can think of. Um, but it's really just not working and I can't seem to figure out why and I'm really not willing to put the time into it. Since it's just an app, you can get on the internet in other ways. Um, but other than that, it works pretty well. I know that on Facebook, uh, if you like, it has a problem with the chat. It's just little things like that, um, and sometimes it misses keystrokes. Like when you're typing, it'll miss like every ninth letter or something, and it sometimes the space doesn't work. It's just more kind of irritating stuff than it is anything. But one of the other things that I did discover, I was trying to figure out how to get that tab menu up. Um, the other day, you actually right click right mouse click and it brings up this little tab window and actually it, it automatically hides the uh, the uh, address bar when you're not using it so like right now and if you want to access that you can just right click and it'll pull it up right there uh, you can also pin things to your um, dashboard so you can just click pin right there and then you can name it let's just name it YouTube for now uh, and then you can select pin to start and it will actually pin it all the way over here uh, and it goes with the same color scheme kinda like IE9 does and I guess that also goes back to the fact that this actually is IE9 or something of that family and it's actually just embedded into the whole Windows 8 experience um, and you can move that around also as you can with any other icon and then actually to remove things you can just right click and remove Go ahead and do that. Uh, so let's go ahead and go back to Internet Explorer. Uh, new tab. Uh, frequently accessed pages. This is nothing new. Um, I mean, guys. I mean, that's that's really much it. There's, or that's pretty much it. There's really not that much to know about it. Um, refresh bookmark. No. Oh, this is interesting. Use desktop view. I haven't tried that. Oh. Okay, so this is interesting. I'm guessing this actually is IE9, just in a modified view. Uh, I actually haven't clicked on that button before. 
but that's interesting because it actually brought up the same link on the desktop view that's interesting um, I'll try and find out a little bit more about that see because the only question I have is is it actually running IE9 with a modified uh, uh, what am I trying to say with a modified interface or is it actually running it in some weird program that we're not familiar with yet uh, and then opening just reopening the page in a different program um, but I'll try and find some more about that or find out some more about that for you guys uh, feel free to comment and let me know what you think about the uh, differences between Chrome and uh, Internet Explorer 9 and I'll be back with some more videos thanks for watching guys